Hi, welcome to excellab.org. Our topic is compounding frequency and effective interest rate. Here we will see how compounding frequency impacts on the effective interest rate. So, so let's assume different frequencies. So first starting with annual, then take semi-annual, take quarterly, monthly, it's weekly and daily. So for annual it is 1, semi-annual it is 2, for quarterly it's 4, monthly 12, weekly 52 and for daily it's 365. Okay, now assuming the nominal interest rate it's 7% per annum. We just put the percentage sign. Now to calculate the effective rate, we will put the formula. So, so here I am just mentioning the formula. It is one plus nominal rate, which is R, divided by frequency per year, which is represented by M. Raised to again compounding per year that is m minus 1. So if you put here the formula, it's 1 plus r, which is 7 percent, divided by the frequency. raised to again frequency which is 1 minus 1 so just check the parentheses it should match so it is 7 percent only for the annual put the percentage sign and take up to 3 decimal the rest you can use autofill it and you can see you can see the effective rate okay so annual it is seven percent but when it is semi-annual it is seven point one two two if it is quarterly it is seven point one eight six if it is monthly it is seven point two two nine so you can see it is increasing as the compounding increases the frequency increases the rate effective rate also increases now there is an inbuilt formula in Excel we will see we will compare put equal to sign and write effect now you can see the function effect and it's written here returns the effective annual interest rate click on this you can see the syntax you can see it is asking for for nominal rate it is seven percent just give the reference cell reference put comma and number of compounding per year it is one you click on this close the parenthesis enter so it's it's same only you can see the formula one and the inbuilt function the rest you can use autofill you can say it's same only okay now we will we'll take one one example let's say for instance suppose you deposit $5,000 for three years now we will see the impact of effective rate put equal to and we will see what is the future value support so FV again you can see the syntax click on this the first it is asking for rate so so the rate is for annual it is seven percent n per it is number of period which is three years and and pmt you ignore pmt since we are depositing once only so so next it is pv so so put 
minus five thousand dollar because it is cash outflow that's why you take take minus five thousand and last it is asking for type that is when you are getting the interest in the beginning or at the end of the period so assuming let's say interest we are getting at the end of the period so 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 type either one or zero so if it is at the end of the period type zero and close the bracket so so we can see it is 6125 that is five thousand dollar it becomes 6125 after three years so when 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 it becomes 6125 when when the annual rate is seven percent okay now if we if we check for semi-annual okay then then just use out of it now check it now it becomes six one four six so so it's almost like you know the difference of twenty one dollar when it is semi annual now we check for the for quarterly also you can see it it becomes five seven so it's almost like thirty one dollars so we can see the impact of you know frequency more the frequency more the amount okay now we can we can check here you know put equal to and we can see the difference you know it's twenty one dollar again we we see for the for the quarter it's thirty one dollars okay now you can see it's thirty nine dollars so we can see as the frequency increases the output also increases 